Aries, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another tarot card reading today. Hopefully you're doing well. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel as we continue to grow. So we got all types of messages being delivered. We got the mailman here. We got uh, planes and helicopters slide through. I just seen so many racing cars pass and one of them was dragging its fuel pump or whatever that uh, is. I think it's the muffler. <laughs> so it's all types of messages being delivered at this time, Aries. Don't be too quick to act before thinking. You know, we're all here on the karmic wheel. I think we're doing um, the astral lectures. We'll see if we can uh, pump an uh, astral lecture out. So we'll start with the Aries five signs. Out at the park today, there's been some changes up in the scenery. But it's nice and early. The sun is out at 12 a.m. Or what is it, 12 p.m. in the afternoon? So, hey, why not? All right, so let's see what's grounding you for this astro lecture. We have the devil card. Starting the first tarot reading of the day with the devil card. So this could be some form of, hmm. We all know that what the devil stands for. Of course, it's Capricorn energy, so it's earthly pleasures, it's earthly activity. It has a lot to do with money, addictions, drugs, sex, alcohol, all that type of stuff. Negative activities, negative people coming towards you, even karmic situations and relationships. So, hmm. Or maybe it's you could know exactly what you want at this time, cutting out distractions, because this could also be distractions as well. Pretty much anything that would um, get in your way, which is how Capricorn operates. They pretty much, they work a lot. I'm pretty sure if they can uh, die working, they would. Pretty much they'll step over anyone and anything to get to what they want. So um, that's the devil energy, man. Pretty intense. Then we got Seven of Swords. Nighttime activity, hiding. We have the World card travel expansion new options opening up cycles closing out we also get seven of pentacles so your some type of innate skill or talent you have to make money or you could be regrouping i'm getting here that you've been planting investing in here for a while i'm not sure if it's in regards to has it been to some regard in your finance of some sort We also got Knight of Pentacles. So you're on some type of money-making journey or endeavor. This could involve health as well. But these are uh, words and thoughts not being spoken about. Something's being hidden from you. It could be in some form of a travel. Because we do have the world and the Knight of Pentacles on the track. Ace of Wands. It could have something to do with uh, spirituality, some type of... Um, could be some type of physical event as well. I'm not sure if it's the, if this is strength training or you're in the gym or you're getting ready to do some type of marathon is what I'm getting here with the world and Ace of Wands. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Has it be for some type of charity or cause? Hmm, it's so someone's story. But we do have the Ace of Wands showing up here with the major arcana of the world. So you could be attracting a lot of, a lot of attention to you at this time. We got um, Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take, of course, in finances. Victorious moment. Could be receiving some additional monies. You have the Fool card, which is Aries. So taking a leap or taking an action towards something that you dreamt about. Because we have the two major arcana. We have the world and we see the channel of light coming into her. Uh, pretty much her crown chakra or her third eye so something that you may be uh, dreaming about or have foresight about or something that you've been planning and then you're just gonna leap right into it or jump right into it it's gonna be some form of uh, expression here that you're seeking to have hmm. interesting card pull you have ten of wands this is also a travel card Entails physical activities, uh, sometimes hardships. Could be releasing burdens here with the Ten of Wands. 
Maybe some type of spiritual release or you're learning your heritage or something like that. You could be learning your culture, where you come from. Getting DNA testing as well. New memories or, yeah, new memories here. Or something about the memories. Yeah, definitely. Eight of Swords, you're trying to figure out who you are. It could be in regards to some memories. This could be head trauma. Here with the Ace of Wands and the World card. That's like your world changing up or your perception changing up. This could be a coma or something like that. Now, this could be some type of medical procedure. I'm not sure. We also have the Sun card. It could be childbirth or some type of aha moment. Again, has something to do with the memory. She's channeling ancestral knowledge or some type of download you're receiving here. It could be during your sleep or maybe you're lacking sleep at this time. This could be insomnia. But there's some type of information that's being, uh, if it's not being hidden from you, you're not understanding it or you're not receiving it the, the right way. Or again, this could be mischief. Like lies and um, storytelling and Hmm. What else? It's like um, misdirection of some sorts. But that's what I'm getting here for your first 10 card pulls. Major Arcana, the world, the fool, the sun card. It could be a false sense of celebrity as well. Or a celebrity's getting into something or remembering something at, at this time. Or I'm not sure if it has anything to do with royalty. Hmm. What else are we getting from these images? I could try and put some clarifiers. I should have bought a second deck. We do have Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So something about your finances. Treachery and deceit here. Or someone's like mis misguiding or misdirecting the situation here. Laying down burdens here with the Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, causes insecurities, or just again could be mis uh, misinterpretation. There's going to be an unraveling at some point. All the red here, and the Ace of Wands, and the give and take here. It can literally look like a doctor drawing blood from you as well, siphoning your DNA, which would be health, which would be uh, Pentacles. So it it could be. Um, some form of a, well, during the times that we're living, living in, it could be some form of a, a medical testing. But there's travel. You can't travel without the correct information or this procedure here. The foundation is being challenged here with the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. This may be new contracts coming in or like being overwhelmed with uh, like uh, spam and all, all that type of stuff. What else we get in here with the Ace of Wands and the Sun card? There's going to be some type of new inspiration here. Definitely some type of spiritual awakening or download that you're either receiving at this time. Something involving your dreams as well if you can sleep. You're going to need to do detoxing here. She's falling into this, um, this water here. What could be perceived as an abyss, but this is a baptism. You're going to need to be drinking a lot of water here or hydrating yourself. I'm not sure if you're, um, what is it? People also donate blood. I know they keep showing that uh, YouTube uh, commercial. Uh, they're talking about um, donating blood and things like that. So I'm not sure if you're one of those types of people. I mean, we have organ donors out there. Voila. <laughs> um, what else are we getting? I think that's it for the first 10. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. We're going to pull 10 more cards. See what the rest of the story is or if there are any additional messages here. So, yeah. Enjoying a nice, good day out, man. Haven't had one of these in a while. A couple days off. You uh, you imagine what you can do with a couple days off. Like It's so strange how people live their lives now. <laughs> makes you question a lot what so many people are uh, really distracted with in their day-to-day -day ordinary lives and what time what precious time that they have 
uh, to spend it either with themselves or with people around them. And then people become so guarded. They get entangled in uh, attachments, <laughs> desires, and being detached. It's like they want their cake and eat it too. I'm talking to a fire sign here, right? You guys got a lot of passion and energy. So grounding, your second pull will be seven of wands. So we did have the devil, I remember. Capricorn energy. Could be work. Some type of health dispute as well. But we're here, you're working on your boundaries. It's like you're restructuring or regrounding yourself, working on your spirituality. Could be, again, working off steam here in the gym. Could be practicing yoga. You could be trying to stimulate your senses. So, i.e. candles, uh, aromatherapy, things like that. Tasting, taking, uh, what, exotic baths. I guess that's something fancy for like bubble baths or something like that. But you're working on uh, grounding yourself. Um, practice um, being mindful and grateful. Seems like there's an issue with gratitude here. Five of Swords. Unwinding, maybe drinking. This is confusion here. Again, words. Uh, trying to formulate the correct words. All right, Page of Swords. Learning something new. This could be uh, new transactions coming in. This could also be uh, investigations, say for instance, spying or introspection or something like that. What else we get? We got the moon card, cancer energy. Getting more loss of sleep here. Hmm. This could be hospital um what is it when they put you in the hospital like uh you get sick or something like that and they tell you you have to stay overnight uh what else we getting knight of wands okay what am i getting from the knight of wands what is this uh cold sweats or something like that or maybe a fever Get Ace of Wands. Now we're also getting uh, some form of acting as well. <laughs> this could be people acting sick for some. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. This could be some type of celebration or some type of party or something like that. It's like people are. Um, hmm. But the moon is showing up though. This is occultism. Something's being hidden here. This could be like a motivational speaker or someone that's um, kind of like an artist or something like that. They could be using athletes. There's some type of spell going on here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is legacies and foundations. Um, people developing businesses together. Um, what else is there? This is wills as well. Uh, this is also a prenuptial agreement. This is foundations being built here. This is like a wealthy community here. Happy family. But what does that have to do with what's been going on um, with the rest of this reading? Though? What, people's loyalties are being tested here? We're having death and rebirth. Hmm. Scorpionic energy coming in here. We do know that Aries and Scorpio share Mars energy. So there's going to be conflict coming up here. There's a death and rebirth situation going on here. Some type of transformation. It's like there's uh, someone manipulating this reading with... Um, I wouldn't necessarily say manipulating this reading because I just pick up on the energies of, of the collective, basically. So whatever comes in, either I'm going to have to use my discernment or whoever watches these videos is going to have to be able to use their discernment to figure out their own story here. So like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that the message continues to grow. The Knight of Cups coming in here definitely has to be a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio in this reading here. We have both Cancer and Scorpio showing up with a major arcana. Wish fulfillment here. This is contentment. 
now I can kind of see why Buddha uh, didn't really care too much about his appearance. It was all about the contentment of it all, being uh, secure with oneself. So we're probably dealing with insecurities here. Hmm. Like getting unhealthy habits. Yeah, there's some form of addiction. Whatever this is an addict and whatever they're addicted to. But this is the star, Major Arcana, Aquarius card. Uh, this could also be hospital. She looks like a woman in a hospital gown. Could be a masculine as well. Again, there's some type of uh, hmm. There's some type of medical situation going on here. This could be uh, donating of organ. Maybe someone's putting themselves on the organ donor list or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is people being enlisted into the army. I don't see that. We do have Ace of Wands here. But the star card, there's definitely some type of wish being fulfilled here. Either a wish being fulfilled or some type of destiny coming into fruition here. Because we know that the star is past and future. It's hope. It's children. It's the wonders of the world. It's the water. Typically on a right away tarot deck, we see the water... I'm not sure if that is the water bearer, but we see a maiden splashing water onto the land, bringing forth the knowledge and the life of the people. We do get that depiction here with the moon card, but there's a cultism here at foot. There's something being hidden. Certain, some signs aren't uh, as efficient in uh, the spiritual aspects of life, but at the same time, they do have their own advantages as well. They are gifted physically, so... That's just one thing that you'll have to work out uh, on your own. You look yourself in the mirror. You should always be trying to maintain your health anyways, your diet anyways. Anything that goes into your physical or that we deal with here on the physical plane. You got to pay attention to that stuff. So like eating right and exercising that helps you live longer. Like your body is supposed to vibrate. You eat fr foods and fruits and vegetables that's high in life, that's high in light and vibrating energy, that electricity, the energy. You know, you're always moving. Your skin is a is an organ, and it's always moving. That's what happens when it heals. Your your heart, your blood, everything is always flowing. Aries should know this. You're an athlete. You know you know about adrenaline and things like this. You should know that the more you uh, work out, it builds up an appetite. That's the whole point of bulking up and trimming down, and the reason we watch our bodies. Aries rules the body, rules the face, expression doesn't necessarily have to be attached to emotion but there's a lot of expression there with Aries and vibrating takes a lot of energy so you know there's inertia there's all these different types of things we have to worry about as athletes or performing artists or even therapists you know health um, nutrition uh, therapists and things like that so it's just all in knowing the body you know whether you want to um, transform yourself or not you know, you want to know these things about yourself so that you can you can take advantage of them and everyone's not the same. But uh, what am I getting here for Aries to close out your astral lecture? Seems like uh, times go by the time goes by the time goes by faster when I'm outside, like it gets darker quicker. But that could be just because of the seasons that we're in. <laughs> It starts to get dark at like 6 o'clock. 6.10, it'd be dark. So, probably going to have to cut this one a little short. But it was an interesting astro lecture. I did get a little bit of a data dump off here. It looks like there's um, black magic surrounding you. Now, it could be some type of generational curse with the death and rebirth. With the Ten of Pentacles. Again, it could be some type of will attached to this. This is the will. This is the finances. This is the death. This is the rebirth new finances being distributed but also at the cost and I'm feeling like there's dark magics here like some type of sacrifice going on here but that just could be hard work uh, blood sweat and tears um, anything else major arcana moon death and mm, the star Aquarius cancer and Scorpio maybe we're getting astrology here as well Hmm. Learning. This there could be scholarly activity as well. Again, learning something doesn't always have to be spying. You're seeking out some type of specialist or some type of guru, 
someone with this Ace of Wands, um, whatever this talent is that they have here. Again, it could be some type of um, could be some type of spiritualist, maybe maybe some type of massage therapist or something like that. One of those types of uh, individuals. It has something to do with physical activity. It could be some type of physical retreat as well. Nine of Cups, though. Someone's they're they're working towards something. This could be a relationship on the way as well. But there's a lack of confidence here. There's a lack of an Ace of Wands here with this Knight of Cups. Someone's looking at you as their wish fulfillment. Maybe they feel like they lost on that, uh, lost out on an opportunity with you here with the Death and Rebirth card here. But I'm going to leave it at that. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.